All right, so look at all this stuff. Collection needs to be reorganized. It's a mess. Lots of crap I'm trying to sell right now. Definitely need to do something about this. All right, so we're gonna take a look and see my top shelf here. Uh, everything's kind of unorganized still. Uh, still trying to sell a bunch of stuff. Uh, but usually I put my new stuff on the top shelf until I get organized. So let's go ahead and uh, see what's new. All right, so here are all my pickups for April of 2018. Um, the top shelf in the other room is generally reserved for new releases um, or things that I just picked up, I guess. Um, there usually stays there until I can put them on the shelf. A couple of things already found their way to the shelf. Uh, Seven, Halloween, Back to the Future, Full Metal Jacket. Got those earlier in the month, so those are already kind of put away. Um, just got Ghostbusters, just got Hot Fuzz today. Uh, as you can see, the Hot Fuzz Steelbook is the uh, cool paneled one, kind of like uh, the Shaun of the Dead release, or one of the many Shaun of the Dead Steelbooks. And Ghostbusters 2, or 1 and 2, uh, in the Digibook packaging. So I'm a sucker for the special packaging. I really like Digibooks and Steelbooks. I don't really have a preference uh, one over the other. Um, so yeah. So I guess I'll take a minute or two and uh, talk about a few of these pickups here. Uh, kind of a theme to a couple of things here. Um, Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs. Uh, do the rebuys. I had these on DVD already. Just figured I'd go ahead and do the upgrades since they were really cheap. Uh, Hateful Eight was actually one that I wasn't planning on uh, picking up. I like the movie, but uh, just kind of off the radar. Uh, but I got it Second and Charles. They're a, a resale shop, I guess. Uh, it's got the embossed slip case and this was like seven bucks brand new it was brand new sealed when i got it so um that pretty much completes my tarantino collection i guess um wanted to pick up uh this again because it's really cheap i've already owned both of these on dvd figured it was time for an upgrade and they're so inexpensive comes with uh, both discs so they're not doing a two-on-one haven't watched it yet i'm sure it looks fantastic uh as far as i know yeah it's uncut so Really no different than the uh, DVD release other than the Blu-ray quality. Uh, again, Hot Fuzz, brand new, sealed from eBay. Kept the steel book. Uh, again, one I wanted to get for a while. So that's my collection. Uh, Seven, the uh, Digibook release of Seven. Got this brand new on Amazon. Um, I've got a sucker for this, the uh, Digibooks. They're just really cool. Um, you know, it wasn't terribly, actually it was very inexpensive. And again, upgrades the uh, DVD. Uh, American Psycho, brand new seal from Amazon, and it's actually the uncut version. I don't really know the difference between the uncut and theatrical cut. Um, I have the old DVD, one of the, I think the first one they released. That's an upgrade and it's very inexpensive. Uh, again, another upgrade, Terminator, the original uh, Blu-ray, and I got this from Best Buy online, and I actually thought this was the Steelbook. I actually did a Google search for Terminator Steelbook, and I think that looks like one of the Steelbooks. And there's like a stock image that just had the, the red on there. So uh, it's a, not a Steelbook. So I guess that's fine. It's an upgrade. Uh, another upgrade. Uh, Fight Club, again, Amazon, very inexpensive. Worth the, uh, the cost to upgrade it. Uh, I actually got an email on this, the uh, Back to the Future Blu-ray trilogy uh this cool digibook like packaging it's not really a digibook i guess uh, there's really no pages in here except for the cardboard sleeves that house the discs but it's a cool set the big upgrade because i had the original trilogy dvd release from early 2000s so this is a huge upgrade it looks fantastic and it was the lowest price i think i've ever seen it i think it was like 16 dollars, 19 dollars on amazon um, a couple weeks ago so it was a steal at that price um Leon, the professional, the uh, Steelbook, I got this at FYE, and they actually had a, a bunch of them in stock. Uh, they're all brand new sealed, uh, as far as I can tell. Uh, this is the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook packaging. Uh, it didn't have the pop art sticker on it. I think I've seen some of them had the pop art sticker right there. Um, but it had a price tag on it, and it was in its shrink wrap, never been touched. Uh, looks really cool, uh, so I'm really happy to have this. I, I don't own this movie. I've never owned this movie. Uh, but it has both cuts, the R-rated cut, and then I think they usually call it the integral cut of the professional. So that's cool. Uh, I got this uh, after Arlie Emery passed away. I figured I should put this in my collection. And um, it wasn't that much. It was an eBay purchase. I couldn't find it anywhere brand new, so it was a used purchase. 
It's a really cool uh, digibook. Lots of behind the scenes stuff within the book itself. Just watched it over the weekend. It looks fantastic. Did a really good job with it. Uh, Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Again, digibook packaging. Really inexpensive. Like 15 bucks on Amazon. Uh, both films. Uh, you know, mastered in 4K. Uh, I don't know when this was rescanned, if this is the same as the Blu-ray that came out a little while ago, uh, the standalone, but this is, uh, you know, I got it for the packaging, it was 14 bucks, so I figured why not. And then the uh, the big one here, uh, the Halloween 10 disc set. Uh, it was on my Amazon wish list forever, and it's not available right now, and it has not been for a little while. So I actually went on eBay and picked this up uh, for the same price as it was on Amazon, like 40 bucks or so, uh, but definitely worth the cost um, every movie, including the Rob Zombie ones. So yeah, anyway, uh, cat was on the table. So, um, Halloween, one, two, three, four, five, and one set. Um, then there's six, seven, eight, and then the two Rob Zombie films. Uh, so the Rob Zombie ones are the, I believe, unrated versions. Everything else is a regular theatrical version. Uh, I've got the release of the Curse of Michael Myers, the producer's cut, part six. Uh, so I really don't need to spend to get the whole big set to get all versions of part six. And part six kind of sucks anyway, no matter which cut you're watching. So, um, yeah, I have this in my collection. So the only Blu-ray collection of the big slashes I don't have, you're talking Friday the 13th, Halloween, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street is the Nightmare on Elm Street set. I've got that on DVD, but not on blue. So eventually I'll probably upgrade to that as well. So there's my pickups here for the month of April, 2018. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. All right, got the uh, 10 disc Halloween set on eBay for a really good price. And uh, cases were in good shape, but the uh, inside spindle was damaged on a couple of them. So I have some replacement cases just came today. And there we go, all set. Good as new. No longer broken, even though these are nearly impossible to scratch. They'll now stay nice and snug in their case here. And I got the cases from, I think it was Case Topia, like 13 bucks for the pair, so it was a little expensive just to get the replacement cases, but I'm glad to know that these discs will not be flying around anytime soon inside their cases, so yeah, I'll have to dig into this set pretty soon too.